Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup today. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. That's a weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses, and two no contests. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Pedro. The Young Punish Guy, Munoz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Marlon Chico Vera! when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a... Oh, he's hurt! He's got him right here. Back to the feet. Jab hurt him a little bit. Just misses there with the left. Massive head kick. Oh, straight right. That was just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful leg kick thrown. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. 
It was a good night if that landed. That strike will count. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Got clip with the right hand. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that. Oh! Holy smokes, he put him to sleep. Back to the feet. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Able to land with the left hand there. Great punch. Oh, working the inside of that leg. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush, go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Visibly limping here. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this one. Go finish his fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, what a punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually go out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out of space. Find places to rest. Get against the octagon. Go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much Oh, huge elbow! off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the 
around. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go for it. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Ooh, big shot land. Ooh, blocks the shot. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just missed on that spinning attack. Oh! Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Oh, big knee. And that's going to do it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 20 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marlon Chico Barra! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.